Welcome back to Wrestling World. Today we'll be taking a look at how Bailey and her former fiance have unfortunately called off their wedding. Murphy ranting on WWE, Sami Zayn's comments, and much more. Let's start things off with this unfortunate news of Aaron Solo and Bailey's engagement. Bailey and Aaron were together for the past seven years. They even had a picture backstage after Bailey and Sasha's historic match at NXT Takeover Brooklyn 2015. It wasn't that long ago that they got engaged as well. Everything has been quiet lately, but it was Aaron who went public with their breakup news and revealed it to the public. He had this to say via his statement on Twitter. This has been an extremely difficult decision to make. Pam and I have come to the realization that we have a completely different idea of what we want our future to look like. Because of this, we feel that it would be in our best interest to call off our engagement and end our relationship. We have a lot of great memories together that we'll forever cherish. We've agreed to remain friends and will continue to support each other in our careers and lives. We ask that you please respect our privacy on this matter. So just some very sad and unfortunate news, but we're all sending out best wishes out to the both of them during this time. Murphy is going on three months without being on WWE television, and it looks like the frustration is starting to show. His relationship with Aaliyah Mysterio and his storylines on SmackDown have all been dropped. Of course, this doesn't affect Aaliyah that much considering that she's not a full-time WWE talent, but it does affect Murphy, who's still a main roster talent that hasn't been used in three months. He had this to say on Twitter. Three years ago today, I debuted on 205 Live. It sparked my passion for wrestling again after I lost it. What's going to be my 205 in 2021? He also changed his name to Best Kept Secret again on Twitter. So there's a lot to take in there from that quick tweet. After WWE didn't know what to do with him the first time around, he seemed to be going through a similar feeling. But it was WWE's Cruiserweight show that lifted him up and gave him that much-needed spark for wrestling once again. He did come over to the main roster with the nickname of being WWE's Best Kept Secret. He aligned himself with Seth Rollins, which really helped him out, and then he obviously broke up from Seth Rollins. The problem here seems to be that WWE had no idea what to do with him after the breakup from Seth Rollins. That seems to be the mistake that always happens. They do a big storyline move and then have no idea where to go with the superstar next, so they disappear. So Murphy seems to be implying that he lost that spark. He lost that interest in wrestling again and hopes that something will spark his interest again in 2021. He also reverted to calling himself WWE's best kept secret again since he's back to where he started at of being not used. Murphy is 100% healthy and ready to go, but there just hasn't been anything for him to do over the last few months. And that is what led to his frustration here. We'll have to wait and see what's next for Murphy and if his tweets will be enough to get himself noticed again in the WWE. Sami Zayn disappeared in the spring of 2020 when everything was falling apart for pretty much the entire world. Of course, WWE operations and tapings never stopped throughout 2020, but there were some superstars who stepped away for a bit for personal reasons and for their own concerns. One of the superstars that felt like they had to go away because of all this uncertainty happening at the time was Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn recently opened up with Sports Kita and had this to say. Now, we know so much more about it. We know so much more about everything. But at the time in March 2020, there was a lot of uncertainty. We really didn't know what the deal was. And I had some family circumstances that, at the time, it made sense to not go in. Wrestlers are already hardwired not to say no. You give me a task and I'm going to nail it. That sort of thing. There's a pride to the performer in that. So anytime you opt out of something, it's already difficult enough. And then on top of it, on the biggest stage imaginable. I mean, I would have trouble turning down independent bookings for 200 bucks, let alone telling Vince McMahon I can't come into work. It was extremely, extremely difficult for so many reasons. So it sounds like that was quite the challenge for him to go up to Vince McMahon and tell him that he was taking time off. That's exactly what Sammy ended up doing. He was out of action for several months due to the uncertainty, but 
He came back a few months later and was instantly implemented into active storylines, and he's been a constant part of SmackDown ever since. Sami Zayn also spoke with Rick Uccino and talked about some talented WWE superstars that he believes should be used more. Sami had this to say. I'm not even talking about pushing to the moon, but just pushing, using. I'd actually say Bo Dallas. People talk about underrated wrestlers a lot. My name will come up, Cesaro's name will come up, and a bunch of guys, Dolph Ziggler, all of these people, names will come up a lot. Bo Dallas, in my opinion, is maybe the most talented person we have that doesn't get. I mean, he's not even being used. I know it's totally hard. There's only so much television time. We've got so many stories lined up, but I was with him in NXT at the time when he was NXT champion. I know exactly what he's capable of. I think he's one of the most talented people we have that's not getting even an inch. If I had my way, I'd definitely showcase him a little bit more. Sami Zayn obviously had a point. Anyone who saw NXT Bo Dallas knows that he's definitely capable and captured the audience and knew how to entertain. He hasn't been given much of an opportunity to do so on the main roster and just hasn't been used at all in over a year. So Sami Zayn does bring up a great point. He just wants to see something done with Bo Dallas because that's a lot of talent going to waste right now. Mike Bennett and Maria Kanellis had a lot of hype around them a few years ago. WWE eventually ended up signing them and that led to some hype from the fans. However, WWE never ended up doing much with them. Maria was recently a guest on the Dropkick podcast and had this to say. Kevin Owens was fighting for us to come into WWE. He still apologizes. But the plan was to build Mike as a singles wrestler. Somewhere along the way, and I have a feeling it has a lot to do with him coming out with his addiction. And then me announcing that I was pregnant. I think they just kind of took a step back from us and everything they wanted to do with us. But I say this to Mike all the time, that the second week we were there, we were already done. So it is unfortunate how things turned out for Maria and Mike. Will they ever be back in WWE one day? We'll have to wait and see. But what are your thoughts on today's wrestling news? What did you think of Bailey's news, Murphy's rant, Sami Zayn's comments about leaving WWE for a while, and what he had to say about the mistreatment of Bo Dallas? What are your thoughts on everything that Maria Kanellis revealed as well about their time in WWE? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.